Back in uh, summer of 95, I was taking my daughter, who was five, to Kmart to buy a birthday present for a friend. And as I drove past the original 12 stone building, God clearly said to me, you're gonna go to that church. And I thought, I'm not even looking for a church. And I turned around, I went back, uh, pulled into the parking lot. My daughter and I walked in and she said, Mama, what are we doing here? And all I could think was, I don't know. I remember growing up with my mom and my sister and the three of us being really, really close. You know, we would borrow each other's clothes and shoes and makeup and always in each other's stuff. You know, just, just fun. When we came to 12 Stone, you know, our marriage was already very broken at that point. And um, I at first really thought that we would be able to fix things, but it just didn't work out that way. My parents got divorced when I was about six years old, and my mom was a single parent for most of my life. Things were really tough on my mom, but I remember her saying, you just trust God, we're gonna get through this. I was in ninth grade when mom and Rich started dating, and they dated for about six months before getting married, so everything was very, very fast. And then all of a sudden, everything that I owned, all of my memories and my stuff, it's being packed up in these boxes. And we moved into this brand new house with this man and his two kids that I didn't know very well. And it was really difficult to handle. You know, as she grew into a teenager, it seemed like we were always in a fight about everything. You know, my mom and I were always best friends. And then she got married and I felt like I lost that. And so when I was 17 years old, I moved in with some friends and uh, just decided to kind of do things my own way for a while. I kind of started drinking a lot, started smoking cigarettes and she loved that, that drove her insane. I just continued to make bad choices and I think I always knew they were bad, but at the time I just, I didn't care. One night um, when we were at 12 Stone, the message had to do with just love, just show the love of Christ. And God just nailed me with that. And I realized that God's love for Leslie was far greater than any love that I had for her and that I could trust him with her. And it just freed me up just to love her. I mean, it was very clear that she still wasn't accepting of the choices that I was making and she didn't want to tolerate it, but her heart towards me had changed. From then on, you know, not that everything got perfect right away, but that's what I started to do. I just loved her. And slowly over time, things started to change. I remember, you know, not too long after this, waking up at my apartment one day and looking around and it just, it hit me that I, I hated my life. I realized that all these choices that I had made had led to this life that I didn't want. She called and asked if it would be okay if she moved back home, and, and she did. And we had residents from 12 Stone that um, lived with us at the time. And one of the residents was Juan de Velez, and he and I became pretty good friends, and he would continuously invite me to college at 12 Stone. I started going a couple times, and one night there was an open baptism, and he did a call for people to come down and get baptized, and I could feel something in me stirring, saying, get up, go. I got a phone call from, um, from the resident that was living with us, and he said, he said, he said, hurry, Leslie's getting baptized. And I remember seeing Wandy standing there. Um, he was on the phone, and he told me, I called your mom, and we're crying, and. It's been a, a real joy in my life to see my, my children um, on their journey of faith. Um, and now to see my grandchildren as they're starting their journey of faith. I got home that night and I could just see the excitement and the anticipation on my mom's face. And I mean, we just held each other and wept in the living room and just cried. And it was just, it was a really great feeling to feel like I was home. <laughs>